Hi, everybody. Welcome to another fragrance review. I hope all you chicks and roosters are doing wonderful. We're reviewing another very affordable fragrance that I found at a discount store. So uh, welcome everybody that uh, is returning and all of, uh, all of my subscribers. Thank you. And for those of you that are new and are just tuning in, for those of you that you just found me, um, I'm Ali. I am your host for uh, fragrances, affordable fragrances, discounted fragrances, um, any everything that's affordable and thrifty. So um, if you like this kind of content and you stick around till the end of the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more of these videos. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and move on to a fragrance that I, I've i come across every so often at the discount stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, etc, etc. And it's this cute little yellow box and the name is Happy Chapard Lemon Dolce. So this, uh, this little box has a lot of cute little doodles, not doodles, but cute little dots and circles and hearts. Um, and it's a very bright and happy kind of packaging. Um, so the back of the box reads, flowers, citrus, fruits, leaves, spices, nature is amazing, rich in feel good scents. May this luxury create creation bring you a wealth of positive emotions so i was i this is a complete blind buy um i i have no idea what it smells like but i can kind of get an idea of i think you know i can kind of get an idea by reading the notes and looking at the chords and such but as you may have encountered yourself sometimes the notes can surprise you and it smells completely different than what you expected. So I'm excited either way. Um, so this fragrance is supposed to be created to enlighten your mood, to enhance your positivity, to make you feel energized, um, to make you just uh, feel happier um, in general. So hence the name of Happy uh, Chapar. And I think uh, this is a collection um a collection of the happy collection there's you know this is the lemon dolce but they have other of uh, other scents in this and this is um one of the four that they came up with this fragrance was made in italy so i'm always really excited when i see fragrances that are uh made in italy right or or paris or you know i feel like it's like a little bit more luxurious oils but you know sometimes we can be surprised so yeah so this fragrance is supposed to um invoke like happiness and and joy and fun and, and just happy feelings overall so um this is a an edit parfum it's a 1.3 fluid ounce so it's a 40 ml Usually they're usually typically uh, they're they're 30 ml bottles like kind of standard but this one's a 40 so this is, it's an interesting one um, it's you know it's it's interesting so yeah so we're gonna go ahead and, and um, unbox this goodbye wrapping paper yeah made in Italy it's got 70 percent um, uh, it says Eda Parfum 70% volume. Yeah, and um, this is a, a fragrance that is supposed to be a citrus fragrance is what Fragrantica is categorizing this. It's um, It says it's a citrus uh, fragrance for women. So let's go to the main accords for this fragrance. We have citrus, aromatic, green, fresh, spicy, fruity, and fresh. So... Um, like I said, I was right before I got home, well, not right before, right, um, right after I got home, I should say, rather, um, I, I logged into my Fragantica account and I looked at the notes and I was, um, 
this could go either way. I'll be honest. So if you have uh, been with me for some time now, um, during my reviews, you know, I've mentioned that um, I, I do love citrus and fresh, like, um, like Elizabeth Arden's green tea, that kind of freshness I love and I can do in really hot days. But, um, but there's certain fragrances that I can't do regardless of their freshness, like the Dolce Gabbana, the light Dolce Gabbana, it is a beautiful fragrance. It's a fresh fragrance, but I can just, I cannot stand it. It gives me a headache. It's very cloying, even though it's so soft, but that like powderiness, it's like a citrus powderiness that just sits in the back of my sinus the whole time. And it, I feel like there's a tiny string pulling on the back of my eyeballs. And then I get this like woozy, nauseous -y kind of feeling in my stomach and it won't go away until hours after it's off my body, after I scrub it off, after it's, you know. So I'm nervous because uh, I guess there's some people that think that smells like Dolce Gabbana Blue. If... I would have seen that when I was at the store. I will, I probably would have put the box back. But um, since I just went ahead and grabbed it because it was a good price, um, I think it's I think it was like fifteen bucks or something like that. Um, I went ahead and grabbed, it and I said, you know what? What the heck? I like the name. It's Happy and Chapard, you know. Blah. So um, let's go ahead and read the notes, okay? So top notes we have lemon, bergamot, mandarin, orange, shiso. Never heard of that note ginger and then middle notes of orange blossom mango apple cucumber and base notes of mint and woody notes so girl let me tell you something this like i said can either go really good or it can go bad for me um i'm looking at all these notes i do love ginger and i love the mint and i love the mango and the apple and the cucumber and lemon i like all these notes all these notes i do like okay now I do like like the, the minty part, the idea of having a minty scent in a fragrance, but I don't want it to be like, like too cucumbery, you know, like too cucumbery. I do like apple. I don't want it to be too like wannabe 90s, you know? I don't want it to be like a body spray, like, like a Bath and Body Works spray. I want it to be more intriguing, a little bit more better. So, I'm just really curious about this, okay? So, let's go ahead and open up this Happy Chapard Lemon Dolce yellow box. Super cute. <laughs> and the bottle is super cute. Check this out. It feels, guys, it feels really nice. It's super heavy for this small little bottle. It honestly looks like a little jewel. It looks like a like the ring pops, you know, that you remember those candy ring pops? Look at that. Doesn't it kind of look like it? The glass is yellow. It's super clean looking. It's super pretty, flirty, um, just happy overall. I think they did such a cute, beautiful job um, connecting the name with this fragrance. Like the packaging, I think they nailed the whole happy vibe. This reminds me, look, look at this. It reminds me of like one of those, those big suckers. It reminds me of like the fair. It reminds me of um, summer. It reminds me of a uh, carnival, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't it? Like circusy. It reminds me of like happy, vibrant, exuberant. That's what this packaging makes me feel when I see it. Super beautiful weight. I like this. Now that we've read the notes, um, we'll go on to the main main test. And it's spraying it. So let's go, girl. You do get alcohol. It doesn't click. It just squeaks. Can you hear that? It's 
kind of hmm. okay interesting i do smell quite a bit of alcohol so All right. Uh, okay, well, I'll tell you this. You do get that mintiness. And it's a little, it's, okay. So what I do like about this is that the mint note is, is pretty um, present. So when fragrances claim that it has mint, you can't really detect the mint. On this one, you can, you can, even right at the opening, you can sense the mint freshness. And then, now I get orange blossom. There is all this citrus in there. But it's, um... Uh, It's like a soapy, it's like a soapy, lemony, soapy, citrusy, clean kind of citrus. I don't get too much mango or cucumber or apple. So honestly, like the main stuff that I do get from this fragrance is the mint, the citrus, and the the blossom, the orange blossom. So I'm going to go ahead and spray it on my skin. So I'll be honest, it is not a very, oh, there it is. Okay. It is not a very complicated fragrance. It is not a sophisticated fragrance. Is it happy? I mean, does it make me feel happy? It makes me feel awake. Yeah, it makes me feel awake. It makes me, it does give me a sense of like, whoop, zesty energy, open, wide-eyed. It does make me feel that way. The cap is like turquoise blue or greenish in a way, you know. On the skin, you get a little bit more of the fruitiness. You get a little bit more of like the mango. The ginger is there as well. So on the paper, yeah, so weird. On the paper, it gets kind of lost. So... Um, you know what? It's always good to test on your skin. I don't know how many times I've said that. And sometimes I'll just do the strip. I'll just do the paper strip and I won't put it on my skin. But then, you know, it, it, it also all depends on everyone's chemistry, right? Everyone's chemistry is different. You spray it on you. You might really get the mango out of this, you know, depending on your skin. Or maybe you get the apple, you know, or maybe you do get the mint, you know, more than anything else. So it's hard to say. So I do like to spray it on me. But then the real test is when you try it on yourself. Because it might not smell exactly the same on me. Unless we're dealing, you know, there is an exception. Unless we're dealing with the Chanel's of the world. Unless we're dealing with the, uh, the Dior's. Then those tend to be pretty right spot on on everybody. Like they're unique. DNA, it doesn't alter with anyone's chemistry. If it does, it's just quick, just a quick minuscule little thing. Not that's why, like when you're wearing like a Chanel, everybody knows that you're wearing Chanel because they smell the same, right? On everyone. This is a very, uh, it is a, it's a very fresh, refreshing citrus. Um, a high concentration of citrus. It does have a minty note in there. It's a very prominent, very present mint. 
So I think this, I'm gonna try it when it's super hot and I'm gonna see what it does. I'm also gonna test for longevity. Um, this is a unisex fragrance. I know fragrances can test, or you know, maybe Chapard was aiming for women. This is a 100% unisex scent. You hear me? I think that um, you can, this is even, this is perfect for um, like a young man that goes to high school or middle school, um, high, you know, high school, middle school, college, um, and goes to the gym or doesn't go to the gym, but you know, wants to smell fresh. Um, I think this would be a very nice scent to wear. Um, women, yes, definitely, of course, it's unisex. To me, this is 100% genderless okay males females boys and girls can wear this so this has nothing of sexy this has nothing of sophistication this has nothing of none of that okay it is so universal this is a universal fragrance that i would say you could even spray your child's clothing to make it smell a little citrusy and lemony so Now, you know, now that it's been sitting a little bit longer on my skin. The ginger. The ginger's coming out quite a bit now. And that orange blossom is there the whole time. The mint is, is felt a little bit sharper at the beginning, surprisingly. It's almost like the mint should have been one of the top notes. I do not know what she so the, the note Shiso smells like, which is at the top. And you do have a very clean citrus. It is a mixture of orange, you know, mandarin orange, lemon, and bergamot. Nobody is really, none of the citrus notes is really stealing the show here. Uh, like what I mean by that is like the mandarin is not the dominating or the lemon is not the dominating. It's all together. They're all combined. I still think the mango, the apple, and the cucumber are the weakest note in this fragrance. Honestly, if they were to leave those notes out, you wouldn't even... You wouldn't even know that these fra these notes were in this fragrance. Apple and cucumber and mango are pretty darn noticeable notes. You know, if you have, um, you know, if you have certain perfumes that have mango and apple and cucumber, you know that those notes are very, you know, the mango especially is super sweet. The apple has a freshness and the cucumber is absolute just freshness, right? It's like this cucumber is unique. Um... The woody notes, you know, the woody notes are, the woody notes are not prominent either. And the nice thing about this fragrance is that it has no musk. So again, this is perfect, a universal fragrance for all ages, you know, like I said, young children, um, boys, girls, women, men, everyone can wear this fragrance in my opinion. So it is, it is citrus. It is definitely a citrus fragrance with some orange blossom and a tiny bit of mint and then a, some little spiciness of the, the ginger, you know. It is very like shower jelly, right? So like shower gel, cleek, clean citrus fresh scent now i wanted to um let you know what this has been compared to and i guess um some people feel like this smells like the the cheap and chic hippie fizz by moschino um some like again some people think that that it smells like the light uh blue by um, Dolce Gabbana. And then uh, there's even people that think that this smells like the Mandarino Diamalfi by Tom Ford. 
Um, so, and there's other fragrances here that it, they say that it smells like. Some people, what the, what the heck? Some people think that this smells like Miracle by Lancome. No. I'm sorry. It does not smell like Miracle. I don't know what some people are thinking. I'm almost thinking like, are they making a mistake? <laughs> you know, by typing in this, uh, voting for this fragrance. What I, what I do want to say is that, you know, it is not floral. Other than that orange blossom, it is not floral. This is total citrus. Um, so if you like citrus scents and, you know, you want to try something, you know, refreshing for summer and uplifting, um, yeah, that would be it. I mean, I would even say, I would even like say that, it smells a tinge in the same family ballpark of Clinique Happy, but Clinique Happy is a little bit more com complicated. It's a little, it's got a little bit more notes in there. It has a little bit more specialness to it. Um, you all know when you smell Clinique that it's Clinique. I'm just saying, compared to somebody saying that it smells like Miracle, no, it m smells more. It leans more. I would put it. I would place it as a far, far, far distant cousin of the Clinique Happy. Um, but yes, it's it's uh, it. It is definitely a citrus fragrance, and that is the Happy by by Chapard um, Lemon Dolce. That's what we have for you. There is your fragrance. It is super pretty. I mean, isn't it? It's super cute. It's a super cute bottle. So am I really excited that I got this? Um, I'm happy that I got it just so I can share it with you. But honestly, I do like other citrus scents that I have. Um, I've already done a citrus um, like a lemon. I've done a lemon citrus fragrance review, which I will link below. And, you know, just in case you're wondering of other citrus uh, perfumes, let me know if, um, you know, you you are interested in the lemon scents. Uh, maybe I can do, you know, an, an updated review. If you do have this fragrance, let me know what you like about it. Leave it down in the comments. Um, and if you are familiar with the Tom Ford Mandarino Diamalfi, um, let me know if it does smell like this. Um, because I always like to find alternatives for you, right? I always like to find find out which ones are dupes for what. Um, so I'd be really in, I'd be really interested in finding out if you know what that Tom Ford smells like. And if you have this, um, you know, if you're brave enough to, you know, purchase a bottle to, to try it. Um, if not, if you don't want to commit to a full bottle, I do have a decant store where I can, um, you know, I can ship you a 2ml sample, which are the little tiny little sprays. Um, if you have the Tom Ford, just to compare, um, because it might be a good alternative for you so that you don't use up your good Tom Ford citrus scent. That is what we have for you. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I love you all. And I love and like listening to all the messages and the comments that you guys leave. Um, so, yes, go ahead and leave me your comments and we will catch you in another fragrance review. Take care. Bye.